Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Thank y'all for being with me. Today we're going to go ahead and do the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Leo. So Leo, I already spoke with Spirit, shuffled your cards, so we're ready to go right into your reading. First card right out of the deck. Oops, sorry about that. I probably got these cards upside down. Ooh, I do. So uh, here we go. First card out the deck is the King of Wands. So looks like you're going to be very, very magical uh, this week. Looks like you have uh, superhero magic. So maybe this is you all the time. Usually if it's a king, this is who, uh, this is somebody who embodies this um, this power. So looks like you're a very dynamic king. You, you know how to use this magical wand. Uh, you're very powerful, like a superhero at times. You know how to wield that wand to do, excuse me, amazing things. So this is the like running theme of your reading this week. So looks like Leo, you're going to be, and this is a fire sign card just like you. So you're very magical right now. Use that magic wisely. Create something beautiful for yourself. And that is your fortune card. Okay. Next card we have is, oh my goodness. So you mean to tell me these are your first two cards, Leo? This is amazing super super amazing holy smokes so you got the superstar card leo this is showing me that you are very dynamic very powerful and spirit is showing you how amazing you are it's reflecting it back to you so you are the superstar of the week so embody this make sure you do something nice for yourself. Spirit is going to show you yourself. But it looks like you're very magical right now. And you're the superstar. Very, very powerful. Together. To get both of these together says a lot about you right now. Go ahead, Leo. Okay, next card we got is a spiritual judgment. So this is a major arcana card. And so is this two already out the gate you got two major arcana ones uh cards and two magnificent ones so congratulations leo it's a spiritual judgment in your favor usually when you get this you already know what to do or you already did it you already did what you knew to do that spirit was like pushing you to do or kind of leading you or guiding you to do and you answered the call and you became awakened to the situation and now spirit can bless you in this situation a lot of times spirit can't do anything for us until we make a decision until we make uh an action once we uh make an action that's why they call it cause and effect it's like once we do what we're gonna do then spirit can either defend or protect or be on offense to the thing that we are doing so it's like a protection and this is spiritual judgment in your favor and it looks like this is why you're the superstar and spirit is blessing your magic <laughs> blessings all right so next card we got leo oh my goodness you are doing it right now leo this is you're gonna win in the end Win in the end. You're gonna win in the end. So this uh, that's a uh, soundtrack from Teen Wolf. Every time I see this card, it's the victory card. It's like winning. So this is like the grand, uh, grand slam. Knocked it out the park. Won the game for the whole city and your team and yourself. So. Go ahead and take your victory lap. Looks like you're using your magic wisely. That's the six of wands to the king of wands. And it's bringing you to the star. And that's who you are. Superstar. And it's spiritually divine uh, favor and a judgment in your favor. Blessings to you, Leo. Wow. Amazing. Next card we got is beautiful, beautiful reading. Wow. And this is the Six of Cups. So this is um, could be a past life relationship or a past life buddy or a friend. And this is like once you get together and you get to chopping it up, there's no love lost. It's like 
you know, you went off and did your thing and lived your life. They went off and did their thing and lived their life, be a guy or girl or, you know, two guys, two girls. It could be just a friendship or it could be actually a past life lover. This could be like someone you dated in the past, in this life, or it could be a, a lover in a past life, like we reincarnate and you were, were tied to this person or you were uh, married or had, had you got karma to work out with this person, basically. So all in all, a beautiful, beautiful card to get. This is all about care and showing one another that you're there for one another. Beautiful, beautiful card. And it could be uh, like a love a love connection this could be very well and it's spring you see all those flowers <laughs> spring is a spring and this could be that so be mindful you might find love this spring leo next card we got it <laughs> leo your reading is popping oh my goodness your reading is popping you got the world card one of the best cards of the deck. Spirit is reflecting back to you how it feels about you and all the work you put in, all the things that you do. Looks like sometimes you never get the credit for the things you do and it goes unnoticed. Not by spirit. Spirit sees you. And you're like the uh, gold star student of the, the week. <laughs> you got the world card. So this is like, like I said, God reflecting back to you. Uh, exactly who you are, letting you know you are loved, you are blessed, you are divine, and you are needed to be on this plane right now just as you are, and just keep up the good work, because spirit has got your back and your front. <laughs> Go ahead, Leo, look at all these beautiful uh, first half of your reading cards. So basically, we already know where we're going in this reading. It's basically going to lead you to the world. You've manifested everything that you want and you're going to get it somehow, some way. Spirit is going to make sure you get what you deserve. OK, so we're going to the next half of your readings, the next six cards. And this is immediate future celebration. Wow. The three of cups. This is such a beautiful, beautiful reading, Leo. Y'all doing some magnificent things and it's showing in every card. You've been working your butt off with all your magic. You're made your, you made yourself become the superstar. Or spirit is blessing you to make you the superstar. Yeah, that's what's happening. Spirit is making you the superstar. You put in a lot of magic, a lot of work with this wand. You're a king of your magic. You need six wands that you created this, uh, this golden opportunity for yourself. But yeah, this is a blessed, blessed, blessed reading. All the way through and through. And you got some kind of love. This bug is really trying to go at me. Uh, some kind of love interest possibly uh, could be happening as well. So Leo, all the way around. Beautiful, beautiful. First half of your reading. I'm just blown away. This is super beautiful and you deserve it. And you are a winner. All right. Next card we have is the moon. So it might be a situation where you have to use your intuition because you're not clear. This is always about intuition when you get the moon card or any card that shows the moon in it just makes me think, you know, use your uh, spiritual intuition to guide you through if you're not clear. You could also have to wait on divine timing before you're clear. Sometimes uh, it's murky and foggy and blurry mentally and spiritually they don't want you to see certain things before it's time so that could be too but when it is time you might be using your spiritual intuition given to you by spirit to understand what you need to understand okay and this is another major arcana card so you got some popping arcana cards here major arcana so you got the star the world you got judgment and you got the moon. Those are all major arcana cards. So this energy is going to be around you for a while. It's like a new lease on life, a new beginning. Spiritual judgment, superstar. Go ahead, Leo. Super proud of you. You're living your best life. And you got the victory. You're a victor. 
You've been putting that work in, using that magic correctly. Proud of you. All right. So next cards we have, and this is, that was your home environment card. This is Hopes and Fears. Oh, my goodness. You have the most beautiful cards, Leo. This is one of the best re readings this week. And of all time, I think. I'm, I'm, we're, good. we're pretty close to all time. This is definitely one of the best readings this week. And so this is like I hear other tarot readers say the 1111 card. To me, this is the foundation card, the we did it card. Like you see them with their arms up. It's like they had a task. They had a goal. They met it. And now they can bask in all that they did to get here. This is like so exciting and so like enriching and look at all that abundance all around them. You got kids and community in the back, could be a wedding, could be a party, but this is you done it. You did it. We did it. <laughs> I love this card. One of my favorites in the deck. So congratulations with all this magic around you. We went from the four to the six of wands, which is actually back to the future because once you go to the four, this is like. We all want this. Everybody wants to feel this way. Congratulations on that powerful magic and your powerful victory. Leo. Next card we got is the King of Cups. So this could be you too, Leo, as a king of your emotions. When you're around people, they tell you their secrets. They want to chop it up with you and sometimes like spend extra time with you like it could be after work and a friend is just talking your ear off you might need to go but you like you you're there for them you'll listen and you'll chop it up and you'll be mindful of their feelings and you know you don't manipulate people with your emotions you're very caring very loving and you know, very approachable. People can come up to you and probably do all the time and tell you their problems. <laughs> I get that a lot too. So congratulations. This is a beautiful, beautiful king. And this can be a woman too. It doesn't have to be a male. This is divine masculine inside of all of us. We all have a divine masculine and a divine feminine. And I actually just did some videos on that. So definitely check those out. But this is all about, you know, a master of your emotions. So Congratulations, Leo. You're a very magnetic, very powerful king. All right, next card we got is the Three of Wands. So this is your whole reading is a story. So this to me, you know, it's two ways to look at this card. As I can see this as a reminiscence card, like when he's like traveling, like thinking over the the ground he traveled to get to this point using all the magic he did, all this abundance he created with those three wands. But now he's just taking his time to take it all in and just remember, you know, what's important and that he's connected to spirit. And it's been a, quite the journey. And he's going to that for that fourth wand to complete his foundation, which you already got. Remember, we got that card last. And this is like like right before it. <laughs> so you get you went you were going from the 3 right to the 4. <laughs> That's amazing. So I also see this the other way I see this and this is the way it looks like it is. It's a spiritual order. You put out a spiritual order to the universe, a spiritual wish, a spiritual dream, a spiritual order to the universe and that order is coming in so it looks like it could be coming in you see the ships are in the uh, water they're not in the harbor yet but they're definitely coming in and this looks like your order's going to be coming in for you fast and it's going to take you here into the world you got the world card we got a loud one okay next card we got is no wonder why we had a loud one <laughs> this is the only like dark card in your whole reading <laughs> the five of pentacles and at least it's not all dark it still has that yellow it still has that abundance there it still has that sunshine glow there this is just to a, a couple that can't see that abundance could be a broken relationship or it could be a relationship that had a lot of testing times and they just keep having a you know go through the same patterns and routines with one another and it just seems like life isn't like on their side 
but that's just a mentality. And if they look up, they'll see there is sanctuary. There is like uh, more clarity of what to do. There is like care there for them, but their head is down and they can't even see that that's sanctuary. And what I think sanctuary is, is like going to sanctuary like if you were to go to an institution like a church or like going in a quiet room to seek sanctuary seek solitude and um, meditate and connect so you can connect either at a actual place or inside of you either one will work um, spirit is always there for us but we got to look for you know the opportunity we got to look for the sanctuary sometimes it's just a phone call away or a text message away but we got to be willing to do that okay and it looks like you did that it looks like this is where all this other work is stemming from is this broken relationship maybe you guys are still together maybe it's a done relationship but they're showing them together so maybe you are still together and maybe you're just trying to make it to the next um level together it looks like you will but i just see yeah i I definitely see you will because all these other cards are amazing so we're gonna do a recap this is just you know it's just showing us how you got all these other cards because this is the work that you did that spirit is showing us that you did with all those wands is you took this situation and you went all the way to the top I mean, from the bottom to the top, all the way to the tippy. And to do that from here is like, you deserve a, a, what you call that? A standing ovation. So let me give you one. (laughs) You deserve a standing ovation, Leo. Because of this is not easy to do, not easy to come back from a lot of times. And a lot of us, we can die in this mentality, like feeling like we're not loved, feeling like life doesn't have our back. Au contraire, mon frere, life has your back. It's a spiritual judgment in your favor. What is? For you to use your intuition to know everything's going to be all right, (laughs) you got the world, one of the best cards of the deck, and this is the theme of your week, the theme of your reading. Look at all this beauty. You're a superstar out of this world. Look at that. (laughs) Those go hand in hand. (laughs) Excuse me. That air conditioner. Uh, And you're very magical. Super, super magical to make you this superstar that you are. You're going to have a celebration out this world. You got a love interest or an old friend coming in to celebrate with you on your victory and everything you've been doing. All this goodness and greatness and amazingness coming to you. This could be a love interest or this could be you. Very powerful, very awesome king. Everybody wants to be around. Very funny, very dynamic. Could probably got all kinds of jokes for you. You looking back over the ground you traveled to get to exactly where you want and where you need. We did it. (laughs) The We Did It card. Congratulations, Leo, on such a beautiful read this week. Spiritual judgment in your favor to give you the world, to give you all you can dream of, all that you ever wanted, and it's spiritually divine given to you. Not from the system, but from the spirit. All right. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.